Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. Today we'll dive into one of the greatest novels of the 20th century, A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Said during World War I, the novel tells the story of an American ambulance driver named Frederick Henry who falls in love with a British nurse named Catherine Barclay. The book is known for its stark realism, powerful portrayal of love and war, and exploration of themes such as mortality, identity, and the human condition. One of the most notable aspects of this novel is Hemingway's spare and direct prose style. Hemingway's use of short, simple sentences and his tendency to omit unnecessary details creates a sense of immediacy and urgency that pulls the reader into the story. Hemingway's prose is often described as masculine or stoic, reflecting the novel's themes of courage and endurance in the face of adversity. Another critical theme in the novel is the idea of the lost generation, a term coined by Gertrude Stein to describe the disillusioned and directionless young people who came of age during and after World War I. Frederick Henry, the novel's protagonist, is a classic example of the lost generation struggling to find meaning and purpose in a world that seems to be falling apart. His relationship with Catherine Barclay becomes a source of comfort and stability in an otherwise chaotic and uncertain world. The novel also explores the themes of mortality and identity. The war serves as a reminder of the fragility of human life, forcing the characters to confront their mortality and the ultimate futility of their efforts. Catherine's pregnancy and eventual death further emphasize this sense of mortality, underscoring that life is fragile and fleeting. Additionally, Frederick's experiences in the war lead him to question his identity and his place in the world, highlighting the dislocation and detachment that characterized the lost generation. This novel has been widely praised for its realism and vivid portrayal of war, love, and loss. Hemingway served as an ambulance driver during World War I, and his experiences informed much of the novel's depiction of war. The book captures the chaos and brutality of war, its senselessness, and its toll on those who fight it. At the same time, the novel is also a powerful love story, as Frederick and Catherine's relationship is a source of hope and comfort amid the war. Their love is passionate and tender, and their moments of intimacy and connection starkly contrast with the violence and destruction around them. This novel has been adapted into several film adaptations, including a 1932 film starring Gary Cooper and a 1957 film starring Rock Hudson and Jennifer Jones. The novel has also been referenced and alluded to in various works of literature and popular culture, attesting to its enduring influence and relevance. One of the notable aspects of A Farewell to Arms is Hemingway's use of symbolism. Hemingway uses objects and images throughout the novel to represent more prominent themes and ideas. For example, rain and snow are recurring motifs in the book, describing the coldness and cruelty of war and the emotional distance between Frederick and Catherine. The use of water, particularly the river, is another recurring symbol, representing both the passage of time and the inevitability of fate. The novel also contains several allusions to literature and mythology, suggesting the universality of its themes. For example, Catherine's final words, isn't it pretty to think so, reference a line from The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, suggesting the futility of the character's hopes and dreams in the face of mortality. Additionally, the novel references Greek mythology, particularly the story of Icarus, highlighting the idea that human beings are ultimately limited by their mortality and the forces of fate. This novel has also been the subject of critical controversy over the years, particularly regarding its portrayal of women. Some critics have argued that the novel's portrayal of Catherine as a passive and submissive figure reflects Hemingway's sexist attitudes. Others have defended the book, pointing out that Catherine's character is complex and nuanced and that her ultimate fate underscores the novel's more prominent themes of mortality and loss. Overall, A Farewell to Arms is a complex and multifaceted work that continues to provoke discussion and debate among readers and critics alike. 
its exploration of war, love, mortality, spare prose style, and powerful symbolism all contribute to its enduring reputation as one of Hemingway's most outstanding achievements. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, stay curious.